All right, this is After Effects, The Wiggler. So let's check it out. Okay, here is an actual film industry usage of the um, the Wiggler here used on the show The Shield. So let's take a look at what it looks like. There it comes on in, and mainly it was the other titles like this one that's about to appear right there. Pretty much just had the Wiggler effect on it. Okay, so here I have After Effects on open. And what I'm first going to do, as I always do, is I'm just going to import any piece of footage that I'm going to be using. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and stick with some uh, red 2K footage here. I'm just going to import it on in by dragging and dropping it. And I'm just going to make my first composition by dragging this on over to the Make Composition icon. And there it pops up. If I want to, I can always go up here and check my composition settings. And you'll see that my footage is 2048 by 1152 with 23976. I'm going to change the duration to about 10 seconds here, and I'll change the name of it to The Wiggler. Okay, I'll hit OK. And now I'm going to go ahead and delete this footage, and I'm simply just going to type up a title. Yeah, I'm going to make it white, though, with uh, no border. So let's just type up The Wiggler. There it is, and it's pretty small, so I'm just going to increase my font size. Again, I'm going to go back to my arrow tool to increase my font size over there. And the Wiggler has three steps to it that you have to remember. The hardest part is, number one, remembering to find Window and Wiggler. So that's the hardest part, is kind of remembering where that Wiggler is. If you don't remember, guess what? You can just go to the Help menu and just simply type in Wiggler, bam, oh, there it is, okay? But here I have the Wiggler over here, and you'll see it will not let me apply it yet. Because there's a couple things we have to do. As I always say, with every animation, you always need two keyframes. So in this case, we're going to do it on our position. So with every animation, we always need two, two keyframes. So I'm going to click on my stopwatch for my first keyframe, and I'm going to move forward in time. And you can either force a keyframe by clicking on that. Uh, you could even just hit the arrow key and nudge it over one. That'll make another keyframe. Or you could even just simply copy and paste the keyframe. But mainly we want to. Uh, now that you have two keyframes, and this is the hardest part that everybody always forgets, is that you have to highlight these two keyframes. You can simply click and drag and uh, make a small triangle like that. I'm sorry, rectangle. And uh, highlight the two of them. You can click on one, and hit shift, and click on the other. Or you can just simply click on the word, and you'll see that'll highlight them both. And once you have that, you'll notice then it will let you apply it. Because if you don't have it highlighted, it won't let you apply it. So as you can see, I cannot apply it. Uh, so I'm going to, again, you, you know, just highlight them in some way, shape, or form, and you'll see then I can increase the frequency and the magnitude and then apply it. And now you can see there's my little trajectory of where it's moving around, and now we can simply see that my title is moving around. Whether you decide to do smooth, jagged, whatever you'd like, all independently, only on the X, Y, all up to you entirely. But I will say, if you don't like what you did, don't simply apply the, uh, you know, change the attributes and apply it again. You actually want to hit Apple Z and undo it, because otherwise you'll be applying a wiggler to a wiggler, which you don't want to do. So I'm going to hit Apple Z if I wanted to make it, maybe make it smaller, and then I decrease those parameters just a little bit and applied it again. And now you have a little bit less movement on in there. So that is a way you can apply the wiggler uh, to a simple uh, title like that. Let me backtrack for a second here. Another thing you want to make sure you're aware of is when you're highlighting these keyframes, make sure you don't like make it very broad like that. Otherwise, again, it will not let you apply it because I have highlighted multiple attributes over here. So again, if you want to highlight it, make sure you're just nice and streamlined in there, and then you'll be able to apply it. So make sure you do that. But let me show you another cool way you can apply the Wiggler to actually movie footage. So let's take a look at that. And here's a clip that you'll actually see that they applied the Wiggler to a... Uh, kind of a clip to, to have an impact of the baseball hitting. And you can actually apply the wiggler to many different things, whether it be explosions, uh, punching on impacts, um, you know, as you saw there, hitting the baseball. So whatever you want to really make more of an impactful kind of screen shake, you can definitely do uh, using the wiggler and After Effects. Oh, and if you wanted to see uh, how you could apply that impact, uh, this is a tutorial on uh, videocopilot.net. Uh, and you'll see that they have the tutorial of the impact of him hitting the baseball. But like I said, you can apply it to anything like punches, explosions, whatever your heart desires. And I hope you enjoyed my tutorial on the Wiggler in After Effects.